and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucian's Fortune. All right, we're going to get back to our aggressive ways. We're going to be trying to take as many attack steps as possible. Yeah, we have our champions of Lucian and Misfortune. Um, of course, Misfortune levels up whenever you've attacked four or more times. So we're going to have regular attack steps. We're going to have our scout units, Grizzled Ranger, Island Navigator, Genevieve Elmhart. So we're going to have our scouts to be able to attack again. And then we're going to be able to rally, whether it's Relentless Pursuit rallying. Um, Lucian's champion spell, of course, is Relentless Pursuit. That could rally. Or also, if like leveled up Lucian, if we have an ally die, we get to rally and get more attack steps in that way also. So lots and lots of ways for us to get um, attack steps. And that's all we're going to do is just attack, attack, attack. We don't really interact with our opponent hardly at all. We just have a few combat tricks with a couple of reposts, a back-to-back, -back, and a couple of rangers resolves. So you know like that's, that's about all we got going on there. But we're just hoping to be attacking and have Misfortune in play and getting like that extra damage in from Misfortune and uh, doing well with that. So yes, this was a, a deck request from from a viewer on YouTube that asked to see uh, one of the, one of these kind of decks, and there's a bunch of uh, different kinds of lists on Mobilitics, and I I put this one together, kind of putting together all of them. Something that like none of, none of them had Hired Gun, and I really like Hired Gun. I think this is just another good two mana card. And since we want to attack so much, I th just feel like the more like one and two mana cards that we can play and try to just get ahead. And then stay ahead with our champions, the better. And higher gun works great with, um, you know, with like misfortune, with, where we can, if it's something with like one health, but it also just works great with our quick attack. You know, putting um, Lucian or Senna, like having them be challengers. So I just played a couple of higher guns in here. We'll see how good those higher guns are. We're gonna go play five games over in ranked. Hopefully, pretty fast games because that will be um, that will mean that we are winning quickly. And our opponents aren't stabilizing fast enough. So here we go, Lucian's Fortune. Swain Braum. We just got done playing Swain Braum. Uh, Braum. Is Braum like the worst card for us to, to possibly see? Braum's got to be really difficult for us to beat. I don't really know why I'm even keeping Senna. I should probably mulligan Senna too. How do we not have any two drops? We got 11 two drops in the deck. Yeah, one two drop. And then we hit our we hit our uh, sub goal today. We got eight subs thanks to a homeowner gifting out some subs. So we're going to be doing some uh, bonus stream after this. There's a two drop. And then I will be Push eating dinner. Darkness. And I'm going to be eating mac and cheese for dinner. Because I'm an adult. I heard on the radio today that today is National Mac and Cheese Day. And so, of course, I was like, man, I like mac and cheese. That just gives me an excuse to make some mac and cheese. Welcome to the and then it got me thinking... My gun does the talking. Is mac and cheese the most universally beloved meal? It's, you know, of course, not every single person in the world is going to like mac and cheese, but it's got to be, it's got to be up there, right? I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking it was mac and cheese. Pizza's probably number two. That would be... That would be what I would envision being one and two. Like, oh, uh, maybe just U.S. Maybe just in the U.S. Okay, yeah, I guess I guess I'm only I'm more familiar with U.S. Some of y'all are like never heard of mac and cheese. What? It is it is the Go to staple. With mayo and pepper. You're covered. So I could see them playing like maybe they're holding up like Fury of the North. I haven't tried I've never done a little mayo and pepper. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, it is so good. It it is so mac and cheese is like the meal that basically all Americans grow up on. It's it's really cheap. It's usually it's like a dollar at the grocery store, a dollar a box, so like a dollar for a meal. And um It is just just perfect. Um, it's it's basically it's great for kids. You know, it's, it's like the kid meal. Like all kids love mac and cheese, and so you know you can get you know, like all the restaurants just like serve mac and cheese also, just as like a kids meal thing. Um, so you know, like whenever whenever kids are like, oh, I don't like this or that. You know, like I don't want to eat this or that. Parents will just be like, "All right, here's some mac and cheese." It's just the, it's the meal that people people never get tired of it. All right, Valerian Blade, have a good dinner. We'll see ya. And there's and and so, um, then you have like the adult mac and cheese. You have like, your fancy mac and cheeses. Even like your steakhouses will make mac and cheese. But then, you know, put, like, some lobster in it. You know, you get some lobster mac and cheese or some truffle mac and cheese. And then you start uh, making it more fancy. And it's still delicious, no matter what. It's so versatile. And then whenever you, um... You know, whenever you're in college and, you know, you're like... Uh, college student that's trying to not spend very much money at all. It's it's like the perfect meal. Um, Get bloody. I'm gonna Get play bloody. this, because they're gonna they're gonna kill something. I don't want them to kill war chefs. Um You saw a documentary about a guy who's only eaten mac and cheese since he's eight? We can get a bunch of variety. Still, with only eating mac and cheese. Um. Hmm. Don't really want any of these to die. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Um. And then, like the the big thing was, you know, like. Do you, do you buy, like, the dollar mac and cheese, or do you, like, spend the extra dollar and get the shells and cheese? You know, like, your, your like, Velveeta shells and cheese that have, like, the... Instead of, like, the powder stuff that you mix with butter and milk, you know, you get the... Get the shells and cheese and get that Velveeta package. They don't have to worry about measuring or anything. Yeah, to be honest, dude, come on. Who, who actually measures mac and cheese? I never measure... Uh this. You'll fight or you'll swim. Do -do -do -do. Their plan was like Mystic Shot the Lucian. You should always do that immediately before the Santa comes down. There is an entire world of mac and cheese even missing. It's. I have probably eaten mac and cheese. Probably a thousand times in my life, and that's not an exaggeration. That sounds about right. No, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's a little much. That'd be 30 times a year. The order rewards its faithful. Oh, yeah. No, that's not too much. Yeah, that's like once every like 10 days. Yeah, that's not too much. Yeah, no, it's probably... Yeah, that's, that's not an exaggeration. 
actually probably fits. A deal of coins and garden. Night falls. Yep. Powered up by mac and cheese. The stink of blood and sweat. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. You're covered. Relentless pursuit. I won't get away from this time. The pursuit of victory. I mean, it doesn't matter they're tapped out, but... Purity and peace. Bring in the heat. No sweat. Why would you block Lucian? It's like, literally the worst card to block. Block this thing. Block the Yeah, they're dead. Are we 2-0 already? Man, I've just been sitting here talking about mac and cheese, and I just thought the one game was done. Did we, already, did we win another one? Oh yeah, we beat Braum. You make it like three times a month? I'm probably a little bit more... Uh, I mean, that yeah, that's 36 times a year. Three times a month. I'm probably a little bit more than that. Maybe, maybe three, maybe four. Maybe between there. Yeah, <laughs> how'd you get to Masters? Oh, just talk about mac and cheese for an hour and then you just play on curve. Uh, yeah, these, uh, let's get rid of the Navigator. <laughs> so the, the, okay, so now the question is, is what kind of mac and cheese to get to, that I'm going to make for dinner? Because I have, like, the, the white cheddar. Um, I have, like, the regular cheddar. I have, like, the, the, like, extra cheddar. Or just, like, I guess the regular one's not really cheddar. So there's, like, the regular, there's, like, the extra cheddar, but then the white cheddar is really good. Hmm, what kind of mac and cheese should I make? I like the Annie's mac and cheese, because, like, the boxes are a little smaller, and so I got, I have, like, the different flavors of the Annie's. I got them on sale, they were, like, $1.50. But then I also have some of the Kraft mac and cheese that were also on sale, and they were, like, under a dollar. They were, like, 80 cents. So I have craft mac and cheese. I have a lot of mac and cheese in my pantry. So that's just what what kind am I gonna make? Have y'all ever combined mac and cheese boxes? Because I don't think I've ever done that. That sounds weird. Have y'all ever done that? That sounds weird. I don't think I've ever done that. Have y'all ever, ever put like No, I don't think there's the there's not really provolone. The white cheddar is kind of like provolone, I suppose. You don't buy the box stuff? I've never really mixed either. I've never mixed. That sounds intense. Make your own mac and cheese. Does sound like the ideal way to do it. You're cute when you're on. So ideally, we would play like the scout, like one of the scouts and stuff. But I feel like ugh, I feel like we kind of have to. Try to get like these crimson disciples out here and maybe i should have maybe i should have blocked i was scared of transfusion but i don't know why i i don't know why i should have been scared of transfusion because transfusion would still haunt me this way just as much all right so my lucian's gonna die we're gonna take a whole bunch of damage we're taking what like eight damage yeah, we're just so we're just dead. We're taking eight damage. All right, this I I really should have been blocking. Okay, we're only taking six because they're not blocking with the Legion Grenadier. 
Oh, no, no, because we take another two there, so we take another two there, so that puts us down to two. Yeah, so that was ten damage. So, yeah, Crimson Disciple, pretty good. I mean, I mean, I guess we can see if we don't lose, but all they need is literally any card. I mean, I mean, I should have just blocked with Misfortune, right? Like, I, I should have been blocking. Like, that, that was a huge mistake not to block. But their, their hand was good. They, they got me. All good. The box stuff is rip-off prices unless you find a good deal. I mean, I usually get them. Yeah, I always buy them, like, when they're on sale, and then I'll buy, like, a bunch of them. But like I said, like, the craft stuff I get for, like, 80 cents, and the, the Annie's for, like, $1.50. Yeah, Crimson Disciple. It's very likely Crimson Disciple is going to be nerfed. Some, yeah, they are going to be nerfing some of those Noxus cards. We know that. Like, they talked about that before. Um, Noxus is going to be nerfed, but we just don't know what. Crimson Disciple is the most likely candidate. But yeah, that uh, Legion Grenadier. Th I'd say those are, those are the two probably the most likely. Best Eye of the Dragon I've ever seen. You make the same amount as two boxes of mac and cheese for $1.50? So what do you what what do you do for the cheese and stuff? I understand like getting pasta. I mean, but even pasta boxes are kind of expensive. You know, like, pasta is basically the same price. Don't blink, or you miss me. Why am I passing? Play Misfortune. Watch and learn. Can't stop me. No what do you do, Nanuel? You have to share your secrets. That's probably what you're typing right now. Okay, you buy the Velveeta block. Fire. That's it. Those blocks are expensive. Those things are like, you know, like six bucks. They're playing that to get a Dragling. I'm going to use this Make It Rain, keep them from getting the Dragling. Um, the problem with doing that, like, I, I would like to go Petty Office. You know, I wish we had one more mana. I wish we could have gone Petty Officer, Powder Keg, and then deal two damage and kill the Ezreal. But the problem with that is if I just go Petty Officer, Powder Keg, then I play Make It Rain the next turn. One, we may not actually target the Ezreal, and two... Um, they may uh, assume they're not passing that up. I 
Okay, they are passing that up. And two, they may... may just use removal i'm sorry for uh doing that they may use removal on my powder keg and so then my powder keg doesn't actually do the two damage I was definitely planning on using that to save Misfortune, but this is just so much more damage. Love ya. We might lose this game. This is definitely not a matchup that I thought that we would lose. But we might lose this game. You get five four ounce blocks individually wrapped of Elvita cheese for five dollars. That sounds like a pretty good deal. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. Cheap meal is the hot dog. Yeah, we might lose this. I didn't. I didn't think that we would lose this matchup, but we might lose this one. Fried hot dog over easy eggs. How do you make easy eggs? I need to I need to learn how to make it, like more kinds of eggs and stuff. I basically just do like the fried eggs of just you know you put it on a on like a um, electric skillet. And you make a fried egg and then I put like I do like two of them and then put them between some bread and make a sandwich, fried egg sandwich. That's about all I ever do. I don't even do scrambled eggs. I used to do scrambled eggs when I was younger. You cannot escape. The dragon binds us. It's too late for you. No sweat. Yeah, I guess, I don't know, they just wanted to block. They would have gained one additional life if they would have just, yeah, they would have just healed the Nexus for three and then taken the two, wouldn't they? But this is probably, this is probably just lethal. I, I assume that, I assume we're just dead here, we don't get to attack again. We need to win that turn. And so them having like all those blockers was really good, especially the chump making the mushroom clouds. Yeah, this is definitely lethal. 
Well, I think that's a matchup that we will not lose very often, but that's about the one way to lose it is... Um, that that turn two, you know, like them having that turn two Eye of the Dragon, which is absolutely perfect, and then the Ezreal killing, you know, playing early Ezreal that makes all those free Mystic shots. Um, yeah, that, that turn two Eye of the Dragon was perfect. Don't really know what the opponent's waiting for. Mercy. We're definitely dead. You're between me and glory. These were not cards they just drew. I guess they wanted to try to play around single combat, I guess? But that didn't really play around single combat, so I don't know. They certainly should have still played the, at least play the burst spell that would have gave me the five puff caps, because that would have gave me a, a chance of actually drawing a puff cap and making their life easier. Then they'd only need one of those spells to resolve. So even if you, I guess I don't hate the weight, but I, but you gotta cast the, the burst speed spell. Instead of wasting that mana. Okay, two and two. See the the problem with having no removal is that can happen. Wish we would have had one of the higher guns. That's why I want to play higher gun. Wish we would have had one of those. Or just some challengers. Um Keeping Elmhart. Elmhart's a lot better than like the cards that we were playing last game. It's a lot more difficult for this kind of deck to kill. The being a five-five. Smell that? A bite to cook it. They did, Cabo. They did mention that Noxuses will be nerfed in that uh, same article. They just said the direct damage output from cheap Noxus units, like that that's gonna be changing. So you're looking at... Don't blink or you um, miss me. I'm one of the good you know, so you're looking at Crimson Disciple, <laughs> Legion Grenadier, Imperial Demolitionist, gotcha. that kind of stuff. I mean, I, I suppose Legion Saboteur as well. I, d I don't expect anything to happen to that card though. Okay, so play Grizzled Ranger for two attacks, or play Lucian plus Brightsteel Protector to attack for more. Is that even attacking for more? I mean, I guess it's kind of attacking for six either way. Slow down, will you? We'll go with the Grizzled Ranger. I mean, I guess this technically does attack for more with the second um, target on the Misfortune. My my hope is that they have like the one day like this deck usually plays like Static Shock and Make It Rain like those kind of cards and that's what I hope that they have and not something that does more than one damage. I hope they play especially like Static Shock that spends four mana. Uh, that's definitely the card that I want to see. What's the uh, Meta World game in? So haven't heard. Haven't heard from you in a little bit. How has how is Vimer performing? Ugh, that's not what I wanted. How is how is Vimer performing now with the three three instead of the four three? Feel the sizzle. Eat up, friend. Get on it, Oh, 
Oh, really? Dang, that's that's crazy news. What? What? Why is that? So we can triple spell this turn and then slam Elmheart next turn. Um, we'll go Protector, Protect, War Chefs. They can kill Protector. I don't want the Lucian to die. Firing. Push back the darkness. Dang, well I hope I hope uh you know uh you know taking a break, all that kind of stuff. I hope that's you know, hope you're getting getting your mind right and everything like that. I sure hope so. This has been like the um, the time where I've probably have heard the most complaints about the metagame from people since you know over the last like five months of playing the game. And yeah, Noxus Noxus honestly is just is much more powerful than every other region currently. Uh, it is, and like maybe we should challenge the three three, so then they can't kill the four three. Like maybe that's wrong. I just I just like keeping the keeping more health on the Genevieve Elm heart. Like, I just don't want the Genevieve Elm heart to be one health. But yeah, we talked we kind of we we're talking about this earlier like looking at like the meta stats it's like like Noxus every single region when you pair it with Noxus it does better than you know like that's its best pairing like every other region. I'll defend these forests. Love getting paired with Noxus. Oh, they took my Elm heart. That's not cool. Yeah, I think I think they will. I think the game's gonna uh, turn a corner. He said, "Yeah, I think so." It was surprising how they just buffed more Noxus cards that last patch. I agree. That was, you know, like when we were talking about things that we were expecting. Um, uh, just suddenly, the the Darius and the uh, Basilis Rider buffs were not kind of on our radar. We were not really expecting that, and then. Yeah, they just kind of keep on. They cover, they've just kind of kept on buffing different Noxus things. Whether it's you know Cato the Arm and I mean Katarina, I guess. I mean just when you look at other regions have been hit by a lot of nerfs. Their Noxus, not so much, and it's just been a steady stream of buffs. That'll probably change though. I'm kind of thinking that it's likely going to be cyclical. You know, like we had Shadow Isles was the best region for a while, then they got hit with a bunch of nerfs, like. I'm sure that Noxus is probably about to get hit with a bunch of nerfs and things will kind of go. Um, yeah, that, like that, that'll happen. Zuvar with a donation deck. Been getting lots of donation decks today, Zuvar. What's your donation deck about, Zuvar? Yeah, Demacia had its time. Gangplank Swain. Okay. 
Actually, our last donation deck was Gangplank Swain as well. Well, with, with Twisted Fate. Cool. We're going to be playing some some warships. I'm always up for a round or two. Red card. Okay, okay. Something for all of you. Okay, so we're going to have you challenge you, you challenge you, and you just attack. Repost on the 6-2 is like the best thing to do. But I'm gonna wait for them to do this block first or like see see what happens. Yeah, so they do that, so we'll go we'll go repost over here. Have them make the first move. Always just throw a blocker in front. Good good lesson there, and definitely a mistake I've made plenty of times. When you're when you're gonna have removal for a you know, basically like a lethal attacker, attacker that you can't really take the damage from. And if you have like a blocker, just throw the blocker in front first. You know, if your spell works, it doesn't matter. But if your spell somehow doesn't work, you can have that blocker be there and keep you alive. Uh, which region do I think is weaker than Demacia? Piltover and Zaun is the weakest region right now. That's it's definitely definitely PNZ is the weakest. Um, probably Shadow Isles the second weakest. Yeah, it's like PNZ then Shadow Isles are the two weakest. Noxus is the strongest, and then you have so it's like Noxus is one, and then you have like Ionia and. Um, uh, like, the thing about Shadow... Okay, so Shadow Isles is in, like, two of, like, the top decks, but it's kind of more of a splash in both. I guess there's, like, the sh the one... Like, there's the one good, like, big-time Shadow Isles deck, I guess, which is Braum and Nivea. Um, but, uh... Freljord, yeah, that was the other one. But, yeah, I would, I would say it's Noxus, then uh, Freljord and Ionia. But just because it's in, like, a couple of decks and, you know, it's it's in one, it's like a little splash. I don't think it's a strong region. Yeah, PNZ can splash in a lot of things, but it's it's the weakest. Um, yeah, and that, that's not too close. But they did say they're going to be buffing up some PNZ stuff, so I, I expect that to happen, how they're talking about buffing up the discard units. Um, that one's definitely the weakest. But yeah, I would, I would rate it like Noxus is... Easily the best. PNC is easily the worst. And then I would have um, Ionia and Freljord is like two and three. Probably go Freljord two, Ionia three. And then uh, Demacia and Bilgewater are four and five, in my opinion. Um, probably go Demacia four, Bilgewater five with the Pilford Goods nerf. And then Shadow Isles six. Because even though Shadow Isles is in a couple of good decks, it's mostly just a. It's mostly not a very good region. And then PNZ7. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, our deck was pretty good. You know, we went 3-2. and two. Uh, You know, definitely a, an easy one to play. You know, like we were just talking about mac and cheese most of the time. It's definitely if you, if you want to just have like a nice, easy deck to play where you have like the same... Um, you have the same game plan against every single deck. Um, you know, you're just going to be trying to get get your units out uh, quickly and attack a lot and everything. Not not too much going on with this one. Um, pretty fun to play. Still powerful. You know, Lucian, Misfortune, a lot of these threats, definitely powerful. Um, I kind of prefer, like, some of the other Demacia decks with a lot more challengers more than this. You know, like how we played Braum, Mis uh, Braum Fiora the other day. And how we've been playing like the Shen decks, like Shen plus Zed and a lot of Demacia stuff. I prefer those Demacia ver versions that I played the last couple of days more than this one. I think that, that one, those versions give you a lot more play, give you a lot more... Um, and they go a little bit bigger, so you, you, have a better, you have a better late game and you have a lot more like decisions to make and a lot, a lot more ways to interact with the opponent also. This is just hope you curve out, throw your stuff out there, um, win. Kind of thing like that. 
Okay. All right, but that's it here for Lucian's Fortune. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Hope y'all enjoyed this one. Those of y'all that were uh, asking to see one of these, feel free to leave those comments too. Let me know what you think about the deck list, um, other stuff like that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Lucian's Fortune, and I'll see you for the next video.